was very interested in meeting you. I can speak for myself. Constellation Ship, you weren't invited to this meeting, but much of our conversation has been about you. It's only fitting you should join us. I will personally guarantee your safety as long as you come in peace. And think of it as a ceasefire meeting. You're one shot at getting those answers you must desperately want. Good. See? We can all get along. For now. Introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. Yes, we did. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. And who gets to say that? You. Me. The Emissary. I have debated morality for near infinity. And all I have found are groups of people enforcing their will on others. Rules and laws spoken as principles, but backed by arms and violence. Enough. We have more to discuss. The unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. It is where we were reborn. So, uh... I gotta say, this part is more awkward than I thought. Hiding my face was way easier. I'm not who you think I am. This universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the Lodge to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye, while we held off the Hunter. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe, and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the Unity. When I stepped into it, I became a Starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds. Including yours. And that's the problem. All the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary. And open the way to the Unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the Temples. 
the anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The Emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? Oh, say what you really mean. That if what you're seeing is true, that means anyone can act the way I do. See things how I see things. You say I can't be the same man as Aquilus. You're really just talking about yourself. The real monster lives within us all, doesn't it? You've never come this far. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. Bingo! I want a truce. Between all three of us, I will give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine. Or the Hunters. Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember. Here for a chat?
Hey, I've been talking with the others, and I'd like to get everyone together to say goodbye. You know. Thank you. It wouldn't be the same without you there. I'll have everything set up in a few days. Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. Wait, say that again? Multiple universes? You can't possibly mean what I think you mean. Let's take a step back. This is everything we've been building towards, and the implications are a lot to take in. Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. And that's why the Starborn want the artifacts so desperately. They're the keys to unlocking the infinite. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind? Enlightenment? Or oblivion? Like the hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second-guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. You're right. We have to see the unity for ourselves. I know this has been a lot for everyone to take in, but we finally have answers. Let's make the best of them. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Starborn. Catch a smile out there. Everyone seems more distant in the Lodge. I guess that is to be expected. I wanted to thank you for giving me the chance to work with you. I know we met under, um, unusual circumstances. You seem to be acclimating well to Constellation. Are you enjoying working with them? I think none of us were expecting what we have found. Well, perhaps, Matteo, you have certainly become a vital part of the organization. That is a credit to your abilities. If I may, from what you have seen, do you think I fit in well with the rest of Constellation? I cannot tell if that is a compliment or an attempt to avoid the question. I will assume the former. I have a very different background from the rest of Constellation. I carry myself differently. I have not shared much, but... Everyone knows I worked with smugglers for years. Why should I be? It was necessary for survival. I would not be here otherwise. For those that have not lived it, it can be difficult to imagine or accept. Vladimir is the only one here who can begin to understand. He was the one who pressed the group to include me. I lack his charm. He puts others at ease. I fear my presence does the opposite. Uh, that is kind of you. You also have a lot g going. I, <laughs> I am... I, I find expressing affection difficult, but... um. But truly, thank you. I know this seems trivial, uh, perhaps childish. I have just always relied only on myself. I have never been surrounded by people like this, by a group I, <laughs> I wish to be a part of. Does that make sense? 
And yet here we are, working together. And that has, I think, gone very well. Discussing these things is challenging for me. I hope now you can better understand why I wanted to keep the circumstances of our meeting quiet. I wanted to thank you for not saying anything to Vladimir. You said you were considering it, and I appreciate that you decided against it. It would have been, to some. Thank you for talking this over with me.